One of the best things about our new bathroom is I always have to fix my hair in the morning. I just don't want it to be like, pew, you know? So I look at the mirror to fix my hair. It looks fine. And then when I go and film, my hair's like back here, which I didn't realize until after I shot. But this bathroom's awesome because there is a mirror on this door and then a mirror right here. So I swivel this mirror until I can see that mirror. And then I open this up till I can see the back of my head. There it is. Oh, bathroom layout is a win. Is that something that you guys ever notice is when my hair is like back here or is it just me being self-conscious? I was once filming with this actress, Belina Moreno, and she's also an acting coach. If you ever seen the George Lopez show, she was Benny on there, but we were having this discussion. Like if an actor asked to see playback on a certain shot or take, do you show it to them or not? And she basically said, you typically don't want to do it because they can get really self-conscious with themselves. And really all they're doing is looking at their hair. <laughs> All right, on with the day. That is so funny. Did you see like the amazing picture that Carrie drew when she was five? Well, I've been showing Sam pictures of me as a kid because I'm unpacking and there's a box full of pictures like my parents were high school sweethearts. Whoa, let's see. That's them at prom. My parents. Whoa. Yeah. And then I found a picture that I drew when I was five. Are you ready? Yeah. Do that? Is that a... <laughs> It is definitely a fish. You really rose to the occasion, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I even did all the gills and multiple colors, and there's the eye right there. <laughs> I wonder if my mom remembers me bringing this home. How did you even keep that for so long? Did you realize that it looked like a penis, and you're like, you know no. what, this is hilarious, I'm gonna keep this. So my dad gave me a bunch of old stuff, and this was in it. Did your dad keep it because he thought that was super funny? <laughs> You should ask him <laughs> yeah, because why else would he keep that? <laughs> Let's frame that. Oh man, I've been at this for over an hour and I feel like nothing's really changed. <laughs> this is gonna take a long time, PETA. Starting another video for the main channel today and Trent and Sam on the Airy Alexa, but actually you kind of figured it out on your own, huh? Yeah, it just took me like 10 minutes. Did you say you were intimidated? Well, yeah, because it's like super big and I'm like, oh, these buttons but i figured it out it's super easy yeah. everything you want to figure out here and i have the monitor here with me too i want to check false color yeah. it's super easy i think a lot of people get intimidated by how many buttons there are on this thing but really it's all very self-explanatory like everything's well labeled if you want to see playback look there's a button there that says play right fx9 there is no playback button the button is labeled oh it's labeled thumbnail thumbnail you know if you want to see playback usually it's media or playback or whatever, but it's a thumbnail on here. And there's a lot of buttons on the FX9 where there is no label on the button, it's just a number. And they're set like that because they're user customizable buttons. So it is cool that you can customize your camera, but the downside is that it's not all the same. I dislike the weight. <laughs> I like the simplicity. Just another beautiful day. We're out filming for our next YouTube video. Sam, how you doing, bud? I'm so I'm glad this is the last shot of the day. <laughs> I seem to recall you saying not too long ago that we should shoot everything on the Aerie Alexa. <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> is that fun? Uh, it is when I press record. And that's a wrap for the day. Sam, great job. You got this. I believe in you. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, okay. Holy crap. What the heck? I think they're just training or something. Yeah. Because they're like on the street right now. They're just really casual. Should we review some music bed entries? We're gonna watch them all, but to keep this video from being 25 hours long, Sam will edit this. And I'll only make it 24 hours. Basically the theme of the music bed thing was taking a certain emotion from the music bed library and then pairing it with a random action that you do. Look how many submissions there are. Holy shart. This is ecstatic burger making. That's like if Michael Bay made a burger. I'm hungry now. Ready for an eerie video? You like eerie stuff. Yeah, let's do it. That was actually pretty good. Very disappointed. Uh, there was no ears in, in all of that. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It Dude, was no, dope. That was good. That was the purpose of it is to make a scene feel a certain way yeah. based off the music. And that definitely did it with the music and everything. Very, Kevin Franset. Very great job, Kevin.
That was really sad. You did too good. You just walked my heart right out of my chest. <laughs> That wipeout at the end, a caught on the 360 cam. Oh! Woo. You get the wipeout award of the year. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. What is that? What is that? A mosquito repellent? Yeah. You just grabbed the first thing that was on the table. <laughs> huh? This is YouTube and chill. I've got a million things to do right now. I need a minute just to breathe. I just got on. That was really good, it was really chill. Yeah, Stefano, that was dope. Especially <laughs> that last shot, that was sick. But why wasn't I in there? Yeah, that was dope. Good. Yeah, that was really good. That was definitely very happy. Yeah, that was the cool. Reveal. Wait, how did you get that shot? You have a jib? Did you put it on a big old monopod? And go, I don't know. <laughs> he wins, so you get, you get no, it. No, you don't get anything! Very funny, Francisco Javier Barriga Cardenas. The name's too long. I don't think we're gonna be able to get through all of these in this vlog. I think we might have to split this up. We've been recording for over 36 minutes now. So we'll probably have to cut this down to just a few minutes, but loving the submissions that you guys have sent in. All right, more work on the studio today. I wanna get a rack that fits in the closet there. And also when it comes to my desk, I've been thinking about what size I want. At first I was thinking one huge table in the center of the room so that way I can shoot it at every different angle and it'll kind of look like like a different set. But now I'm thinking that I want to do something different over here. I ordered something really cool. Um insanely excited about it, but that, it should come on Friday, I think. But here I'm thinking I might just want a long table. So on the right half of the table is kind of my editing setup, and then the left half is kind of clear for filming. So that's what I have in mind. Ready to go to IKEA, Sam? I know it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna have some smart ass thing to say. Should we take that little guy? Yeah, it's more discreet. The ZV-1, perfect for when we're going to stores like Ikea. I mean, once I start bringing this to places where you're not really supposed to be filming, they give you a lot of bad looks. Ooh, this might be a good chance for me to try out this accessory I got. This is the Sony EMXYST1. I'm just, I'll link it down below. I got this specifically for the ZV-1 because look how nice and compact it is. I think this just slides on like that and there's a lot of noise going on outside So I apologize for that you could use it like a regular microphone plug it in But what's really cool about it is that it can communicate with the Sony cameras with the hot shoe So you attach it like this and you'd have to worry about these cables dangling off it and all that Wow, it's really loud and for some reason It's not letting me adjust the audio levels anymore, but I feel like it's really loud It's definitely hot, but it's not terrible either. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be not the worst audio I've ever heard, so I guess we'll go with it. I like how, like this tabletop, how it's super long, but just thin. I feel like I'm in the Disneyland for grown-ups. I know, right? It's always fun coming here. I feel like we circled it already. I, I don't know, know. right? I can't tell. It's like a maze coming through here every time. I think you could put this chair next to that chair, and these would be like two characters in a little movie, <laughs> you know? This would be kind of the smart one that's upset all the time, and this one's kind of like the goofy one. Actually, I do want to get a really nice chair. Any suggestions on really awesome chairs? Let me know in the comments. Ooh, We're nice. among celebrities. <laughs> Pixar guys. These lights are pretty cool. And these are LED, I think. Yeah. That's dope, man. Like it doesn't look like an LED. In a background? Like yeah. if you hang some of these, oh, it looks so dope. The only thing though is that I bet you these lights flicker, but I could actually set this camera to 960 frames per second and find out right now. Holy crap, I just shot this at 960 frames per second and it didn't flicker. So that's pretty cool. This, all these lights up here are flickering like crazy, but yeah, these seem like they're not flickering. So I think I'm gonna go for these skinny ones. Oh, let's check it out. Sale, $6.99. Yes, I'll take three. This is it, Lenin. This is a long desk, huh? Do you think this will even fit? The good thing is like the really nice tabletops are like a couple hundred bucks, but this one's only, what, 48 bucks? So in case I ever mess it up or anything, just come and get another one. Okay, on the way back, I think we're gonna stop by a liquor store because for our potato jet video of today, uh, I think it actually makes sense to get drunk. Like really drunk. Sam, are you down? I'm always down. <laughs> There's a reason for it, okay? It's not just an excuse to get drunk, but I think it'd be really freaking funny to get drunk for this particular bit to test this particular piece of equipment. So keep an eye out on the main channel, Potato Jet. I guess we'll start off by clearing off the table. So here is the new size. Whoa, okay. So way thinner, but way longer. Okay, I think this could work. 
This is a good piece of wood. It's pretty solid. Some coffee stains on there and all that. If anyone lives near Los Angeles and wants to come pick it up, let me know in the comments. Now, I want to keep this desk framed because I love that it's a standing desk. I just press a button and it goes up to a standing desk. So I want to keep this frame. I'm just going to try to bolt on the new slab of wood. Yeah, I think I can extend out the footprint because right now it's kind of short and compressed, but I'm pretty sure I can extend this out. I'm just going to start unscrewing stuff until something happens. <laughs> Now I just have to attach this controller and will it work? Oh yeah, there we go. Only issue I have with this tabletop is that it's kind of hollow in the middle. I think the edges are more reinforced. So when I was drilling into it and securing it down with screws, it really got together nice and tight. But in the middle, when I was drilling into it, it just poked a little hole. It felt like it's going into drywall. So it's definitely not as good as a whole block of wood, but luckily if anything happens to it, I can go and replace it for like 48 bucks. It's an awkward shape for sure. I've never seen a desk like this. It's so long, it feels like a bowling alley. I have to put pins on the side. What I really want to do is put the monitor here and this part be my workstation so I can edit and everything. But then I can always come over to here and film right here without all that being in the frame. So this is nice. The fall goes well. This should be a pretty good little workstation here. All right, let me go ahead and slap this on. Easy. This is nice. Like it's not as much depth as I'm used to. The monitor is kind of right there. So what I might do is get a monitor mount that will allow me to push this monitor a little bit further away, but it's not bad. Like this is a pretty comfortable distance. I can edit like this. And then whenever it's time to shoot, I gotta do is that. Not bad for a $48 tabletop. It's gonna act like a little bounce. Ikea. It's cool because it feels very spacious. Like I have all this space that's just generally gonna be empty and it doesn't take up as much space as a huge table because it's kind of thin. It's only two feet deep opposed to most tables that were closer to three feet deep. So this is, this is nice. We have to work on lighting still and I might push this table a little bit that way because we have that room now. I think we're gonna be able to make this look real cool. I think we're gonna have to duvetine out the window. I wonder if duvetine is like the actual term for it. Like these, they're called C47s. They're not actually called C47s, but that's what the industry just kind of calls it. And this is what the industry calls duvetine. I think that might just be the actual name of it. Or is it just like an industry term? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be able to block this out. I'm gonna need a lot of duvetine to cover all these windows. But I wanna be able to black out this space. All right, so this is the camera I usually use. And if I start recording audio on this thing, it should sound a little bit better. Should we go a little bit more, aim that way a little bit more? I wanna keep it, yeah, maybe. So if I go up to standing mode, this isn't bad either, huh? This is a little bit more like what my old studio was like. I'm so tired of having everything symmetrical. So I think I wanna go a little bit more of an angle. What lens is that right now, 24? This is at like a 20 mil right here. I'm loving all this real estate on the desk. I used to have a separate desk for computer stuff and a desk for filming, but now it's just one big long desk. Maybe sometimes I'll be like, oh, we're talking about this lens. Now let's go to the computer. Come with me. If you pan even more, I could even show you my monitor. Black out that window so it's not all blown out. What I'm digging about this long skinny table is that I have a lot more experimenting that I can do. Like a regular shaped desk is perfect for working off, but then I felt a little claustrophobic working on it. I'm digging this. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of experimenting to do, and it's gonna take me some time to really figure out how I wanna set up this room, but I'm loving the fact that it's a, like a 78 inch desk lengthwise, so it's pretty long. Anyway, Sam and I have to get drunk now for work, of course, for video. There's a purpose for it, trust me. But before we say our farewells, why don't I just read a few comments from my last video? The best Wi-Fi is a 100-foot Ethernet cable. <laughs> I wonder how much faster the internet would be here if we got an Ethernet cable all the way from there to here. It would be a long cable, though. If we were to just like put it into the wall, I'd be down. I think all future homes should just probably have ethernet running through the whole house. That shed should be called potato shed. <laughs> I honestly like these vids more than potato jet channel. These I can relax to wear as the potato jet vids get me hyped to film. I'm actually kind of shocked to see how many people of you guys are watching this video. Like it's not an interesting clickbaity title at all. I would have never thought you guys would be interested in watching this. But yeah, here you guys are. We could probably even do a two-person thing here, huh? Sam, what if you stand over here? You this know? is Sam and Gene. Da -na -na -na. It's two-player. 
<laughs> like if I want to do some stuff here and you're looking up stuff on the computer or vice versa, and we'll just feed in another microphone from this way. Gene sees footage of a ghost turning Dylan's bedroom light off and back on. Moves to a new house without Dylan. <laughs> if you guys get that reference, you guys are awesome. Anyways, Sam and I have to go get drunk now for an actual reason, okay? This is yeah. work, professional reason. And thanks for tuning in. See you guys in a couple days probably. See ya.